A world-famous merchandise designer for the Disney Corporation is unhappy with uh, some major corporation that shall remain nameless, and some major corporation that shall remain nameless is angry with him right back. Let's get into that on That Park Place. Hello, hello. I am Jonas J. Campbell, an investigative reporter for That Park Place. Uh, I like to talk about the Disney company a lot, and uh, so does this guy right next to me, Mr. Vash Guy. Vash, uh, you're bringing us a story. Uh, this is the first time hearing of this, uh, but uh, I had read this and didn't realize the significance of it. Why don't you tell us what is going on? Absolutely. It turns out that the famous Shag, who has created all kinds of stuff uh, in terms of merchandise, and I believe has actually contributed to a couple of uh, um, uh, Imagineering projects, actually. I, I thought Shag might have been involved in, oh, what was it? Um... No, uh, I was oh the famous tiki bar. I, what am I, what am uh, I thinking jock, of? Jocks? No, not Jock Lindsay's. Uh, at the Polynesian at the Disneyland Hotel. What do, what oh, I, oh, this is horrible. I, I don't, I, I don't frequent the bars at the Walt Disney <laughs> Resorts. Uh, oh, no. this is, the, Trader this, Sam's. Trader, Trader Sam's. Yes. Uh, okay. No, uh, what am I thinking there? The head okay. salesman, as it were. <laughs> The head salesman, that is correct. Anyway, uh, we have seen Tiki iconography uh, from the Tiki Room specifically as kind of championed by Rolly Crump and some of those uh, early Imagineers. Um, you know, I mean, it's, the, the, the amount of merchandise and the amount of posters and everything is endless. However, in this particular case, uh, these things weren't commissioned and Shag is speaking out. And now, of right course, here. I need to clarify here. We are not talking about the Grammy Award winning uh, Shaggy, correct? <laughs> no, no, no. We're talking about Shag. <laughs> um, here we go. Uh, this is from uh, his Instagram. Uh, Kapu Akua means forbidden god in Hawaiian. And if any of you know the story behind this mug, you'll know why I gave it that name. Long story short, a major corporation rejected this design, explaining that they were wary of cultural appropriation and offensive to some people. You can see this right here. This is the mug. And, well, um, I believe this is the famous god that's actually featured on the uh, in the Lanai section of Disneyland's uh, Enchanted Tiki Room. He continues, that's their prerogative and i won't knock them for it but i thought it was a cool design and uh, should see the light of day so lost templar traders produced it for me i know this major corporation isn't happy that i went ahead and released this but i'm not happy with this major corporation they didn't give me a single sample of the art merchandise or apparel that i designed for them last summer despite me asking several times in fact no one ever even answered my requests. I keep hoping someone from this major corporation will reach out to me. I'm sure that they have heard from various sources that I'm not happy and may not work with them again. That is massive, by the way. That's wow. huge. This is a guy that's been creating stuff for uh, 10 years, 15 years, something uh, like a, that? A very long time. I, I remember the first time his merchandise was uh, pointed out to me, and uh, it, was, uh, it wasn't my taste, mostly because it was really expensive, but it was, it was a cool design. Um, just to, some indications here. Uh, let me let me see if I can find uh, some of his amazing theme park designs. It's it's kind of this retro style. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, oh oh, but here's one right here. Uh, the Divine Drinkery uh, <laughs> over here on uh, sorry on his website. Uh, this uh, this looks like a tiki bar to me. Um, a yes. very specific tiki bar, in fact. Uh, here's some. Severed heads right here. Huh, that's interesting. Um, where would there be severed heads, a, a, a couple of birds hanging out, and maybe some small world looking figurines? I, I get the feeling that this might have been uh, made for a very specific company. I believe it was. I believe it was. It was definitely in uh, incorporating some of those, uh, uh, some of that company's early style i would say right uh, this is a little bit mary blair this is a little bit mid-century pop that kind of thing and uh shag definitely specializes in this uh, especially with the tiki aspect as we saw it rise in the 1950s and 60s as uh, soldiers overseas uh, fighting in world war ii came home from some of those exotic places and wanted to bring that culture to uh, america that was kind of the birth of this this uh, this this tiki um uh, what is it? Uh, a phenomenon that 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 occurred right there. And the Tiki Room, 
uh, debuting in 1963 was right at the heart of that. So really, really cool stuff. And, you know, it, I mean, they've the Disney company has profited from that for 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 decades now. The whole Polynesian is based off of it. Trader Sam's included all, all that. And and now it seems that they're. Well, they, they're, they're not as uh, enthusiastic about this as they once were. Yes, moving on from a design that uh, essentially offended no one. Um, I, I've never actually heard. I get it that they're kitschy, but just because something is kitschy. And and by the way, I don't mean kitschy as an insult. They're an, mm-hmm. they're an antique design. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, so uh, I think he concludes right here. Sorry for sharing the drama. Anyway, there are a few of these mugs left, yada, yada, yada. Uh, but we have seen this, by the way, in various places. In fact, uh, this article from WW News Today this is talking about the tribal masks that were removed from Adventureland. Same thing with some of the shields and some of the iconography in Epcot recently. I think that was uh, February of last year now. Um, they have been kind of taking down a lot of this Adventureland uh, you know, uh, propping and so forth. Obviously, the Jungle Cruise was was uh, heavily uh, altered in order to reflect the cultural norms of the day or whatever. But a lot of people have speculated, what does that mean for the Tiki Room? And we may have had our answer fulfilled here uh, via Shag. If this design is not meant to go forward, that, that really does tell you what the company feels about uh, this specific attraction and what might be its future. Uh, I do believe this was Walt's favorite attraction, if I'm not mistaken. I, well, you know, it, it was it was one of them uh, under Retlaw, which was Walt's personal company that owned assets specifically from Disneyland. I believe the monorail, the railroad, the Tiki Room was also part of that. So he definitely had a fondness for it. Extremely expensive, extremely ambitious, ambitious for the time. I mean, this is, <laughs> you know, a lot of people had never seen uh, moving figures like that, especially in the 1960s, early 1960s. This is, this is even before the 1964, 65 World's Fair, which would really champion that for, for the entire world to see. Uh, so this has a unique place in history for sure. I, 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 there have been proposals in the past to, you know, rework it, obviously under new management, the Walt Disney World version that didn't go over so well, but I've heard about it uh, a, uh, like a, a fire a, intervened to save us from under new management. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. Uh, very conveniently, I might add too. But uh, Jack Sparrow apparently was going to take up residence in this spot, uh, doing a um, almost like a Jedi training academy, but for pirates and their parents which is very very interesting that obviously didn't go anywhere but who knows what the future might hold and and this art this art battle has been taking place longer than shag has been uh has has been on it i i can remember back in 2013 or 2014 right after the walt disney company had purchased a lucasfilm uh with the uh you know with the star wars brand a famous artist that i knew who had produced artwork or had been commissioned uh, by Disney to produce artwork for all kinds of stuff, including like cups and and uh, uh, like uh, popcorn buckets and on all kinds of stuff. Right? He wanted to do something that depicted a, a piece of artwork that depicted uh, with it Slave Leia, and he was told no. There is no going there at all. She is completely off limits. That was back in 2013, 2014, and it's only escalated from here uh, to to have this happen. To have this occur with such a famous attraction like this, man, who knows what they're gonna what they're gonna do up? Well, uh, well of course, end up doing in next in 2013 would have been right after Disney uh, purchased Lucasfilm and uh, mm-hmm. was <laughs> starting to distance themselves very slowly from George Lucas, just enough to monetize those movies, but not enough right. that they uh, they used any of the scripts that they implied that they would be using or story treatments that they implied that they would be using. Well, um, so uh, I just want to throw this out to our viewers who always such ha- have such amazing comments. I've, we've had a few videos on this channel that have been a little bit more on the, uh, let's say, controversial side uh, lately. And the, the comments have actually been really great. So I want to throw this out to you. What do you think about this situation with uh, Shag, uh, Joshua Agle, um, or should the Disney company come along and say it wasn't me? Um, I obviously know the difference between Shaggy and Shag. I just think it's hilarious. 
Uh, that being said, please like this video if you like this video. Uh, share it out if you know someone who is interested in uh, Shag's merchandise or in what's going on with the Walt Disney Company. And consider subscribing to That Park Place for all the news that should be fun. Thanks for watching That Park Place News. For more information, consider checking out www.thatparkplace.com. And don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and send this out on your favorite social media accounts.